1. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. 2. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. This basic understanding might look easy, but it's one thing to say it and another is to apply it. Sun Tzu was a brilliant strategist and understood the criteria needed for a winning battle. 3. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. So basically it's all about the mindset. Many people don't realize the power behind one's thought, however in truth a person with an iron will and a set mind is almost certain to attain his or her goals. 4. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust. With this comes the importance of practice and daily effort needed to maintain a certain skill. A warrior that hasn't fought for 10 years, still has the knowledge but the body isn't conditioned anymore to persevere during a heavy combat. 5. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. 6. Who wishes to fight must first count the cost. 7. What the ancients called a clever fighter is one who not only wins, but excels in winning with ease. Throughout the history there are many examples of warriors that excelled in this art, Sun Tzu understood the importance of key aspects such as terrain, weather, time, etc. His results and knowledge reflected his experience which speaks for itself. 8. The wise warrior avoids the battle. 9. If the mind is willing, the flesh could go on and on without many things. The power of will is a very important tool in any person's arsenal. It's the power that drives someone to go through struggles, the power to endure. 10. There are roads which must not be followed, armies which must not be attacked, towns which must not be besieged, positions which must not be contested, commands of the sovereign which must not be obeyed. 11. Attack is the secret of defense, defense is the planning of an attack. A quote that perfectly describes the duality of the yin-yang. With every action there is a reaction. 12. To secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. 13. Bravery without forethought, causes a man to fight blindly and desperately like a mad bull. Such an opponent must not be encountered with brute force, but may be lured into an ambush and slain. 14. Wheels of justice grind slow but grind fine. Meaning that in time, justice will always prevail, no matter the obstacles. 15. It is easy to love your friend, but sometimes the hardest lesson to learn is to love your enemy. 16. Who does not know the evils of war cannot appreciate its benefits. 17. Plan for what it is difficult while it is easy, do what is great while it is small. 18. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. It is provided, in the sense that if a general that takes the time to analyze his opponent, he can plan and play out the battle to his advantage. In other words victory loves preparation and that is a key aspect of a superior's commander at arms. 19. Foreknowledge cannot be gotten from ghosts and spirits, cannot be had by analogy, cannot be found out by calculation. It must be obtained from people, people who know the conditions of the enemy. 20. We cannot enter into alliances until we are acquainted with the designs of our neighbors. 21. When the outlook is bright, bring it before their eyes, but tell them nothing when the situation is gloomy. 22. If there is disturbance in the camp, the general's authority is weak. 23. Energy may be likened to the bending of a crossbow, decision, to the releasing of a trigger. 24. Ponder and deliberate before you make a move. As mentioned before, this is a key factor to winning not only on the battlefield, but as a matter of fact it can apply to anything in life. Reflection and deliberation can rule out a lot of bad ideas, which ultimately brings you closer to your goal. 25. 
Begin by seizing something which your opponent holds dear, then he will be amenable to your will. 26. If his forces are united, separate them. 27. Move not unless you see an advantage, use not your troops unless there is something to be gained, fight not unless the position is critical. 28. Convince your enemy that he will gain very little by attacking you, this will diminish his enthusiasm. 29. To fight and conquer in all our battles is not supreme excellence, supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. Demoralization is a very powerful tool in a general's army, it can dull the opponent's blade, being the army. And wars are always fought by men. Thus if their men aren't motivated to fight for their cause, they are most certain to fail. 30. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. 31. All warfare is based on deception. Hence, when we are able to attack, we must seem unable, when using our forces, we must appear inactive, when we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away, when far away, we must make him believe we are near. 32. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. 33. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons. And they will follow you into the deepest valley. 34. Be extremely subtle even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby you can be the director of the opponent's fate. 35. Water shapes its course according to the nature of the ground over which it flows, the soldier works out his victory in relation to the foe whom he is facing. With this quote, Sun Tzu tries to impart the importance of adapting oneself during combat. Basic rules and tactics will only get you so far. The art lies within the ability to prevent the enemy from achieving his goal and in the meanwhile progressing towards your own goals. 36. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. Delude their perception and surprise them in order to win an easy battle. This was our analysis for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have, show us back some love by subscribing to the channel, and by liking the video. Having that said, take care and always remember, your road to wisdom, starts with the first step.